Thank you. I feel so much better now. Thank you. Okay, we're just waiting for my slide to come up. It's all in the timing. There we go. It is an audacious and even controversial thing to believe that bold, world-altering change can happen at a place so humble as the dinner table. I am Sharon Lacey, and I hope to inspire you to gather in community for a home-cooked meal. What if there was a movement to gather at the dinner table just a little more often? Could it offer a cure to human suffering? How far reaching an experience could sharing a meal at the dinner table take us? Could it transform individual health, the health of our families, our communities, and the planets, and the, plan the planet? I propose our family as our first community, beginning with the family we have and the family we choose. I've come to understand the power of, of time at the table and believe so deeply in this that I'm devoting my work through dinner time to make it easier for more people to enjoy a home prepared meal. It's not a novel idea. Preparing food and gathering around the hearth is as ancient as humanity. But times have changed, haven't they? Food may be scarce. Families dispersed. There are intensifying work demands and challenges unknown. Dinner can be outsourced, but can the experience? I'm not knocking eating out or even ordering in. I'm suggesting that something deeper happens, something world-altering when we make a meal to share. Companionship, belonging, and character-forming experiences can be traced to the dinner table. Meals at home have a way of creating a place, and the dinner table is its anchor. It was another generation that took this event for granted, but it's more than about food, isn't it? We debate, we talk about school or work, our neighbor's tree that's shedding leaves in our yard, we're building community. We laugh and cry and learn how to argue at the table. Maybe we learn some manners and develop a social contract. Family life isn't easy, but it can be enriching. Every family has its stories. Gathering for supper, the movement is about creating the place for each other. Finding the time or energy for this chore might be reason enough to avoid it. I ask you to look a little deeper to create this place and turn the tables to a better world. Our connection to each other, our sense of place is just the beginning. We have a complicated relationship with food, don't we? These are massive issues of food production and engineering, access to healthy food, our instinct for instant gratification or to fill emotional emptiness. There is no greater level we can pull, lever we can pull to impact our physical health than nutrition. According to the CDC, healthy, healthy nutrition is three times more effective than fitness alone in providing positive health outcomes. Mix in social relationships and a good night's sleep, and you're well on your way to a long and healthy life. Important research reveals that meals made at home contain less processed ingredients, less sugar and fat, CASA published some of the earliest studies in the social and emotional benefits of, of shared meals. Children perform better in school, are more confident, more likely to postpone at-risk behaviors, all growing from a sense of place and belonging. A later study examined if parenting style had more to do with these outcomes than the family dinner. And as it turns out, dinner time table, time at the dinner table, is both the result of and the incubator for stronger family ties and emotional health. At its core, to make and share a meal together is an act of giving. It is undeniably an act of love. We take care of ourselves and each other in this ritual. Imagine you're gathering for supper tonight. Maybe you invited a neighbor or a kid from your kid's school. You're pulling your chair, handing over a bowl. There is conversation and community. Many hands prepared the food. How do you feel? Gathering at the table has far-reaching impact for our physical and emotional health. For academic achievement, we share ideas and can build understanding. We share companionship. Meals at home are three times less expensive than ordering out. Exciting new technologies are advance, advancing the make at home movement, and others are resulting in increased fresh food to inner city neighborhoods. When we gather for a home cooked meal, we become more aware of the food we eat and where it comes from. We may even grow our own. Whether we're tending carrots or tending simmering pots, this is tangible and almost immediate reflection of our devotion to each other. Preparing meals at home can inspire new ways for children to learn about living in community and contributing. So OK, kids complain about having to do chores. No kidding. Topping the list of least favorite chores is picking up around the house, cleaning bathrooms, and washing dishes. But when asked what chores do you mind least or not at all, kids said caring for pets, helping with cooking, and setting the table. So many fun and wonderful memories can grow in this place. I've saved one of the best for last. Apparently, this is a really hot activity for seniors. Just research YouTube dancing in the kitchen. <laughs> when was the last time you danced in your kitchen? Bold, 
world-altering transformation can grow from the simple act of sharing meals made at home. I hope I've inspired you to plan time to gather at the table with, you, with the families that you choose. Call me and the kids. We'd love to come or, or come on over to us. Thank you very much. <laughs>